Hello from Seoul. Do you guys like kimchi? Let me guess. You look at the kimchi recipe, but because of the ingredients, you may have been frustrated. So today, I'm gonna show you the easiest kimchi recipe. It is so simple, and you can even eat it right after you make it. I mean, you don't need any fermentation process. You already like it, right? Also, I'll show you two different dishes that you can make with that kimchi. Are you guys ready? Let's get started. Today, we're gonna make kimchi with cabbage, not napa cabbage, because getting napa cabbage is the main reason that you never try making kimchi. I know about you better than you think, right? Making kimchi is a big deal even to Korean people. So people usually make an enormous amount of kimchi at a time and eat it for several months. Yeah, that's right. I buy from the supermarket. Did I break your fantasy? If there are Korean groceries near your place, I would rather buy from there. Anyways, if you go with cabbage, you don't have to make it a lot and it doesn't need to fermentation process. That's why I said it is the easiest kimchi recipe ever. You will be needed cabbage, apple, onion, and green green onion. I think you can get these things, right? If you can't, sorry about that. I can't help you anymore. First, cut the cabbage into quarters and please cut out this root part. It is too thick so we can't make it with kimchi. So please keep it for some stir fried stuff or fried rice. Cut the cabbage into chunks. Make it by sizes like this and put them into a big bowl. I recommend you to bring the biggest bowl you have. Rinse it with cold water a few times and drain the water. Now we're gonna salt the cabbage. Put cabbage on the bottom of a large mixing bowl and sprinkle a cup of kosher salt on it. I said cup of kosher salt but it doesn't mean pouring it all at once. We're gonna use this for the whole cabbage. So please layer the cabbage and sprinkle the salt and repeat the process. Can I still call this a bowl? Is it too big? But I can't say it's a big one for making kimchi. I told you people make an enormous amount of kimchi at a time, right? People who make kimchi at home they use way much bigger one than mine. Surprisingly, this is a teeny tiny bowl. The cabbage contains a lot of water inside, so this step is the most important. If it's not properly salted, the water will come out constantly during storage. And after one week, you will see watery kimchi in your fridge. Also, this process makes deep cabbage smoother, giving a better texture. Try to separate each piece as possible as you can. Otherwise, you will see white kimchi without seasoning. There you go exists white kimchi but that's not how to make it. Now we're gonna give them privacy for 2 hours but it's better to flip them over 2 or 3 times so that they are evenly salted. You may think it's too long but actually it's not that bad because according to the original kimchi recipe you have to wait for 8 to 10 hours. Now it sounds not too long right? While they are enjoying their privacy let's make the seasoning. Put 1 cup of chili pepper flakes in a bowl. Actually people use 2 types of chili pepper flakes while making kimchi. One is coarse ground pepper, which is for spicy flavor. And the other one is fine ground pepper, which is for making prettier. But you know, it's hard to get both of them out of Korea, so never mind. As always, just use what you have in your kitchen. Put 5 tablespoons of minced garlic, 2 tablespoons of minced ginger, 4 tablespoons of sugar, and lastly, a half cup of fishy sauce. That's it. Let's blend two onions and an apple. The bitter taste of cabbage gets stronger as time goes by, so I need to neutralize the bitter taste. Usually, people use this plum juice for that. Then, you may think what the heck is the plum juice? Where can I get it? You know what? It is one of the most frequent questions that I've been asked. Yeah, it's very hard to get it out of Korea. That's why I'm using apple instead of plum juice. By any chance, if you have plum juice, you can skip an apple and put one cup of it. Mix everything well. Put a lid on and keep it in the fridge for a while. If you can wait for overnight, it's gonna taste better. But we can't wait that long, right? So we're gonna wait just for 2 hours. FYI, you can use this seasoning for other vegetables like cucumber or even napa cabbage. So use it with a variety of vegetables. It's been 2 hours. Now let's chop the green onion. If you can get the green onion, you can use chive instead. Actually, I prefer to put chives. But if I don't say the word green onion, 
then I feel something is missing. That's why I'm using this. I think we are all set, so let's check the cabbage. The cabbage should be bent like this. If it's still stiff, I'm 100% sure your timer is broken. Now let's get rid of the salt that we put on the cabbage. We should drain the cabbage and rinse it with cold water at least 3 to 5 times properly. Otherwise, it's gonna be too salty. Pour the sauce over the cabbage and mix it well. You don't have to cut every single piece. Just try to relocate the cabbage from the bottom. This is the tip. Put some green onion here and mix it again. I'm pretty sure some people might want to ask how long does the cabbage kimchi last in the fridge? I don't recommend you to keep this for too long like 2 or 3 months because as Ali said, this kimchi doesn't need fermentation process and I don't think it's gonna stay in your fridge for too long because it's gonna be so tasty. Anyways, you wanna know what it tastes like? Let's call our taste tester. Claire. Yeah. Oh, 그럴 듯한데. 나 양배추로 만든 김치 처음 먹어봐. 완전 기대된다. 음, 딱 김치 냄새야. 냄새는. 음. 와, 양배추로 만들어서 그런 건지 간 만들어서 그런 건지 아삭함이 장난 아니다. 이거 완전 ASMR로 들려 들려주고 싶을 정도로 아삭함이 장난 아니네. 음. 근데 이것만 먹기엔 좀짠것 같아. 나밥좀 줘봐. Thank you. I got rice. 음, 역시 이렇게 먹어야지. 음, 맛있어. 밥한 그릇 한 뚝딱 먹을 수 있을 것 같아. 음, 양배추 그 특유의 아삭아삭하고 시원함 때문에 여름에 먹기 딱 좋겠다. 맛있다. 만드는 과정은 확실히 양배추로 만드는 게 훨씬 쉬워? some of you might think I can't try this recipe. The whole cabbage is too much, so I can't finish it. Don't worry about it. These two upcoming recipes will be your solutions. The first one is bibimbap with cabbage kimchi. I think a lot of people think it's quite hard to make it because of its beautiful presentation. Yes, I can say it needs some effort, but it's not difficult at all. So please give it a try. FYI, even Claire can make it so fast. So we had this three times last week. First, check out what kind of vegetables you have in your fridge. If you have various kinds of vegetables, your bibimbap will get fancier. Today, I'll go with carrot, shiitake mushroom, zucchini, and salad mix. Let's slice all the vegetables you have. Put some oil on a pan and fry each ingredient one by one and add a pinch of salt. It sounds too much work, but if you don't do this, you can get the fancy bibimbap that you want to post on Instagram. But if you don't want to show off, you can fry them all. No taste difference. That's my way in my daily life. I'm showing off to you guys. Place the veggies and cabbage kimchi on a bowl of rice. If you divide the section for each ingredient, it will be fancier like the restaurant version. Lastly, put a fried egg in the middle. I recommend sunny side up. Today, I won't make any special sauce for bibimbap. I'm gonna use just gochujang, Korean chili paste. But here's my kick. Let's say you have guests, but if you serve just plain chili paste for the sauce, it doesn't look so special at all. Then what should I do? Just add a little bit of water into the chili paste and mix it. See? People might think you made some special sauce for bibimbap. Plus, it's much easier to mix it. This is how to show off. <clears throat> With a half tablespoon of sesame oil. It's done. Claire? Wow. Looks amazing. <gasps> 너무 예쁘다. I love all the colors. 몇주 전에 비빔밥 먹고 싶다 그랬는데. 그치? <웃음> 음, 너무 맛있겠다. For your information, when you mix bibimbap, it's better to mix with chopstick. That way, the vegetables don't get mushy. So you can enjoy every single texture. 손 쥐나. <웃음> 손가락으로 했더니 됐다! I'm ready. I'm ready to eat. I want big bite. 양배추 김치를 마지막에 올려줘야지. 음, 너무 맛있어. 야채 하나하나 아삭해가지고 <웃음> 아, 너무 크니까 좀 가리고. 음, 제일 아삭거리는 양배추랑 제일 쫄깃거리는 버섯. 
대박이야. 같이 진짜 잘 어울려. <웃음> the second one is spicy cold noodles with cabbage kimchi. Let's make the sauce first. Put some kimchi in a bowl and add one tablespoon of sugar, one tablespoon of chili pepper flakes, one tablespoon of soy sauce, one tablespoon of Korean chili paste, and one tablespoon of sesame oil. If you have sesame seeds, please put a half tablespoon of it and mix everything. Let's boil some noodles. This is called somyeon, which is traditional Korean dry noodles. You can use any dried noodles, but I strongly recommend you to use this because of the texture. But the problem is, it is quite hard to get it unless there are Korean groceries near your place. So I'll say any Asian wheat noodles would be fine. Even ramen noodles are okay. This food is supposed to be cold, so please rinse them several times with cold water. This way, the starch on the surface will go away, so it tastes much cleaner. For information, it won't break at all even if you wash it like me, so you don't have to be too careful like handling the baby. Plus, this process will make the noodles much chewier. Put noodles in a bowl and mix it. I don't know why, but when mixing with a hand, it tastes way more delicious than using a fork or chopsticks. Sure, sorry. Place it on a plate, put some sliced cucumber if you have, and add a boiled egg like this. This is the beauty of the cold noodles, so I wanna say it's necessary. Alright, it's done. Claire, yo! 참기름 냄새가 솔솔 난다. 아, 그말 필요 없지. 맨날 국수만 먹으면 이러냐? 음. 비빔국수가 가져야 할건다 가졌어. 매콤하고, 새콤하고, 달콤하고. Everything is here. Love it. Honestly, this is my favorite late night snack, especially in summer. I wish I had fried dumpling with it. They really goes well together. Number one late night snack. You guys should give it a shot. And the beauty of this bibimbukseu is definitely this boiled egg. Mmm. Mmm. Today, we made cabbage kimchi. I cannot say this is a traditional kimchi, but I think it's easy to make wherever you are. Traditional food like kimchi is usually difficult to make out of the country because it's hard to get local ingredients. But as always, there's a substitute. So please be creative. Alright, this is it for today, and I'll see you next time.